On me. Move. You got Talk me. reporting. Suspects have a foothold in this area and they're refusing to cooperate. Entry team, you are cleared to proceed with the mission. Lead to talk. Civilian is injured. Requesting Thames. Talk to Element. Copy. Clean house and we'll take them out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. I've got some smooth gameplay footage from the tactical shooter Ready or Not, where I take on the first mission. This game brings a whole new level of realism and teamwork to the tactical shooter genre. Developed by Void Interactive, Ready or Not puts you right in the role of elite SWAT officer dealing with intense, high-stakes situations. Let's dive in and see what makes the game such a unique experience. Ready or Not is all about realism, with scenarios that reflect real-life law enforcement situations. Unlike many shooters, the game isn't about high-speed explosive action. If you want games like that, you're in the wrong place. Instead, it's built on patience, strategy, and carefully planned tactics. You play as part of a SWAT team where communication and teamwork are absolutely essential. Moving through each mission requires a whole different mindset compared to traditional FPS games. Here, it's all about cautious planning, respecting the rules of engagement, and getting every call just right, since one wrong move can end a mission abruptly. So, in this first mission, our objective is to clear this gas station that's been taken over by armed suspects, and to top it off, they're high on drugs. You'll notice how I'm consistently checking around corners, watching for doors, and using my teammates. Ready or Not teaches you to trust your squad, whether they're AI or real players. It's not about rushing in guns blazing, it's about moving slowly, assessing each room, and knowing exactly what your next move will be before you take it. Missions in Ready or Not are detailed, and each one will make you feel the pressure of making split-second decisions. The mechanics are where the game really shines. Every weapon, piece of equipment and movement feels authentic. The developers have done an incredible job with gun handling, making sure each weapon has its own feel, from recoil to reload times. In this mission, I'm using the SIG MCX and I absolutely love this weapon in this game. I have tried every one of them, but I always go back to the MCX. There's a range of equipment you can choose from, including non-lethal options like pepper spray, tasers and flashbangs which are essential for taking down suspects without causing unnecessary harm. In this game, excessive force can lead to mission penalties, so it's all about controlled, calculated action. You've got to be precise, any missed shot or misplaced stun can make things spiral fast. Something I love about Ready or Not is how it makes you plan out your approach. In a game like this, you need to scout the environment, anticipate suspect locations, and decide on the best entry points. Before going through each door, I have to make decisions. Should we stack up and breach with a flashbang or try a quieter approach and hope we can catch the suspect off guard? Every choice has consequences and the AI in this game is no joke. Suspects will hide, try to ambush and even surrender under the right conditions. This keeps every mission fresh and intense. This is the first mission, so most of the time I'm just going to use my teammates to stack up and then clear the room. That works well here, but when you get into further levels where enemies are better armoured and have better weaponry, it can be better to flash and clear. The visuals here are some of my favourites. They're gritty and realistic, adding to the intense atmosphere. Each environment is crafted with detail, from dark, narrow hallways to dimly lit rooms filled with debris and potential hiding spots. The sound design is equally on point, with distant footsteps and the ambient noise that keeps you on edge. All of this really brings home a sense of tension where every move could mean life or death. So there you have it. Ready or Not really pushes the boundaries of what a tactical shooter can be. We haven't seen one like this in a long time and I'm kind of glad that we have this because we need more tactical shooters and less of the run and gun Call of Duty games. This game is definitely worth checking out if you're into that slow paced, methodical, tactical shooter. And if you have any tips or questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay sharp out there.